Hi guys, Jordan with Motion Array, and today we're going to be learning how to add a vignette effect in Premiere Pro. So here's the deal. The vignette effect, more so than most other effects, has the potential to be really cliche looking. If you're not sure what a vignette effect is, it's that black fringing around the edge of the frame, usually pretty soft, that helps to focus the attention of the viewer to whatever is actually in the center. When you use this effect, less is more, but we're just going to jump right into how you actually get this effect in Premiere Pro. So here in Premiere Pro, adding a vignette effect is super easy. All you have to do is have the clip that you want to add the effect to highlighted, and then go here to the Lumetri color section. Now if you scroll down to the bottom, there's actually a section called vignette. Here there's four parameters you can influence. Amount, midpoint, roundness, and feather. The amount is pretty much what you would expect, but with a twist. Dropping it down will create the anticipated black vignette, but raising it up will actually create a white vignette. And leaving it in the middle will effectively leave the effect off. Midpoint is how deep or how shallow the vignette effect appears on the edge of the screen. Decreasing the midpoint will push it back so that it's less visible around the edges of the frame, while increasing it will push it deeper into the image and make more of the surrounding image taken up by the vignette. Roundness is exactly as it sounds. The more you increase this parameter, the more your image is becoming circular in shape. While decreasing it makes it more square and in line with the shape of the frame of your image. And finally, feather is the parameter that lets you control the softness of the edge of the vignette. You can make it either super sharp to follow the exact shape, or you can make it so soft that it's hard to notice it's actually there. So now that you actually know how to create this effect in Premiere, we think that it's important to bring up some of the ways that you can use this effect in your footage most effectively. Like we've said before, using the vignette effect can come across as cliche if you make it too obvious. So having a nice subtle fringing by using the feather effect can help to focus the attention of your viewers on the center of frame without it looking too extreme. We're hoping you didn't even notice how we used this vignette in this example here. That's how subtle we're talking. The flip side of this is that you can use it for some sort of narrative visual effect. Like say you want to show a character looking through a telescope. And you want to show the perspective of what they're actually seeing. Or you can use a square vignette if you want to make your footage look like it's old film and damaged at the edges. The most important thing is that whatever context you use it in, it should serve a specific intentional purpose. But if you wanted some more unique options to work with vignettes, we actually have a bunch of free vignettes that we've created for you here at MotionArray.com. I'll provide an easy link so that you can quickly download those. And I'll quickly show you how you can use them. These are all images which you can place directly over top of your footage. Simply drag and drop them over top and they work automatically. And then if you want to reduce their impact just a little bit, you can go up to Effect Controls and reduce the opacity of the vignette image. In this pack, there's also some really unique vignettes, so feel free to play around with them and see what unique ways you can use them in. You can use some of the parameters like scale, position, and rotation to move them around and get exactly what you want, or even keyframe the vignette to move it around if you want. Guys, I hope you really liked this quick tutorial. If you did, feel free to check out all of our other tutorials right here at MotionArray.com. We've got an entire section of our website dedicated to just helping you learn Premiere Pro. Thanks so much for watching, and I can't wait to see you in the next video.